and we are live on Facebook and we are live on Instagram. Yes, the internet works. Last week we had so much trouble with the live session. We did it twice and it still didn't want to load up. So unfortunately last week's live session didn't work. But this week we are back. Every Tuesday at 3 we are live to answer your entrepreneurial or business questions and to talk about entrepreneurial or business topics. Stian, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, send me a wave or something and ask me your entrepreneurial question. What is it that you want to know? Class, uh, thank you so much for joining in. So first of all, before we get right into it, uh, announcement. Tonight we have our How To Start event in Pretoria. It's a Dunwoody Travel Lodge and the event's name is How To Start. We're going to talk about how to start your business, entrepreneurial journey or side hustle. It's going to be epic. So if you, if you don't have tickets yet, make sure you get your How To Start tickets right now on www.howtoentrepreneur.co.za. Uh, it's in Pretoria. It's tonight 6 o'clock at Dunwoody Travel Lodge. It's going to be epic. So let's jump right into it. Stian, Klaas, Eva, uh, Viandri, Arlank, um, Armand, Jewel, and Shalandri. Guys, what's up? Uh, share with me what is your questions this week? What do you want to know about entrepreneurship or business? What is tickling your mind? What are you thinking about? What are you struggling with? Um, send it to me right now and we will answer everything on the live session and we can help out so many other entrepreneurs watching this as well what i have to share for this week is the fact that knowledge without action doesn't mean anything okay one of my mentors Marnie Buerta once told me that knowledge without action doesn't mean anything a lot of the times we think that hey I'm reading all of these blogs, I'm watching these YouTube videos, I'm reading these books, which is great, which is exactly what you need to do. But at some stage, it needs to turn into action, right? I meet so many entrepreneurs that think that they know it all, or they've read thousands of books, they've <coughs> attended so many courses, you know, they've always been reading up on entrepreneurship. And then when I ask them, how many businesses have you started? They're like, no, I haven't started any businesses. Oh, I've started one business and I'm like what you need to gain um, experience as you practice entrepreneurship in the field okay so knowledge without application is useless who of you knows how to get a six-pack right you can google like how to get a six-pack right now and you'll get like thousands of articles that tells you exactly what diet you should follow, what exercises you should do, everything about getting a six pack. I, I believe you already know everything about getting a six pack, but how many of us does actually have a six pack? Uh huh, I thought so. Summer body is not ready yet. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. All of the knowledge is there, but if you don't actually put in the work, put in the action, you won't get the results. So, there's a story by Stephen Covey, right? <laughs> Let me first check here. Stian, Klaas, uh, Eva, Viandri, Erlang, Armand, Jules, Shalandri, JC. Guys, if you're enjoying the session so far, send the shop on the live session so I know I'm on the right track. And if you have any questions so far, send it through and we can answer them. Uh, we have one question on Facebook. Stefan Peterson, how do you research good sustainable business ideas? How do you research good sustainable business ideas is the question. Okay, so there's a lot of ways you can do that. You can firstly just type in on Google what you want to know about what type of business. But the first thing you need to know is there's no such thing as a good sustainable business idea, right? That you can just go and do. Like some people would say, oh, now Bitcoining, Bitcoin mining is a thing. So then everybody's like, that's a good business idea. Let's go and do it. Or someone might say car sales is the thing now so now everybody's into car sales or they might say lawn mowers that's the new good business idea right that's not the right way to go about it you should start the business which you are good at which you are passionate about okay only you can start that business nobody else can right there's a business that you already have some skills in that you already have a network in that you already know a lot about and that's the business you just you should start for example, let's take Quiz. Quiz 
loves guitars, right? <coughs> he plays guitars, so he knows how to play a guitar, right? He knows all of the brands because at night he Googles, okay, what's a Fender, what's a Gibson, all of the different brands, the names, the models. He knows everything about guitars. He knows exactly what a humbugger pickup is and what a dual humbugger pickup is and what a single coil is and everything. He knows everything about guitars. He also knows where to get them the cheapest because he's been buying his own guitars. He also knows all of his friends that play his guitar because he's in the music industry. So for course, he should not start a car business. He should not start a computer business. He should not start Bitcoining. He should not start an online media company, even though that might be good businesses or great business ideas. He should start a guitar sales shop. He should start a guitar business because he knows everything. He already knows the people in the industry. He already knows where to get them the cheapest so he can sell guitars. He can service guitars. He has already a client base to sell them to. People that already has guitars that can service at his shop. So that's the type of business you should start. So don't go and research business ideas that looks cool. Start the business you already are busy with. <laughs> okay, Jill is asking, how do I get people to overlook age and see my passion? Chantal Eunice is saying true. Guys on the live session, uh, if you're enjoying the session, send through a shop so I know I'm on the right track and um, send through your question. So, Jewel, how do I get people to overlook my age and see passion? Jewel, I bought my first property at the age of 19, okay? People would have said, this 19-year-old guy is crazy. What is he doing? Okay, um, my book is called How to uh, Become a Millionaire 22, right? A lot of people would say, 22-year-old guy? What can I learn from him? You know, he's, you know, so don't let age bother you. Right? If you have the knowledge, if you take the action, the results will speak for themselves. So with my first business um, that went big now, Gazaroo, we do online media, we do website development, we do branding. I started it, me and another guy in a room. We started with 1,500 bucks three years ago. We were 23 years old, right? Online media company. Any company would ask, why should I let 23-year-old guys uh, build my website or do my branding after we had 137 clients right that we got from hard work grinding hustling knocking on doors going to shops presenting our product and service we got 137 clients do you think any person any company would still worry about our age if we tell them look We've got 137 clients that's happy with our service that we've provided state-of-the-art websites and design work for. I promise you, age won't matter. So, Jewel, if you put out the results and you show them what you've got, then age should not be a problem and they will overlook it themselves. You don't have to worry about that. So, talking about knowledge and action, right? There's a story by Stephen Covey that says, uh, this guy was in a bush, right, in, uh, in, in, in the jungle, and he was sawing down a tree. And he was working really, really hard sawing down this tree. And then another person came walking by and he said, Hey, I see you working really hard sawing down this tree. How long have you been busy? This guy's be like, ha, ha, I'm hustling. I'm working overtime. I'm killing it. I've been busy 45, 48 hours straight sawing down this tree. And the guy was like, why don't you take an hour break, sharpen your saw, and then you can continue again. He's like, no, 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 no. I can't take time to sharpen my saw. I need to saw down this tree. And he kept on going, sweating and working really hard. And the moral of the story is that there's a fine line between gaining knowledge like we said in the beginning of this live session, knowing, having the knowledge, reading the books, uh, listening to the podcast, knowing everything, and then taking action, actually start sawing down the tree. But then the other side is true as well. Don't just jump into business without getting the knowledge. I know so many entrepreneurs that's running businesses, but they haven't read one business book in their life. I'm like, what? How can you run a business? How can you do this without having the knowledge in your mind? So that's the message I wanted to leave with you guys today. Knowledge without action is useless, but action without knowledge is stupidity. Okay, you need to have the knowledge, 
but then you need to take the action and you need to look at your life go down uh, write down for your business how many how many books have i read how many businesses have i started how many product ideas have i researched how many of them have i launched so then you know should you gain more knowledge or should you take more action and then you can start applying that in your life on the live session we have stian Klaas, eva viandri erlang armand jules Shalandri, jc chantal franku franku leibrand awesome go check him out as well um a great motivational speaker uh, on the live session thank you so much for joining in guys i think this is a great live session a lot of value coming from this are you guys enjoying it send a shop on the live session i think we have one or two more questions. Stian is asking, how much power does my customer have if I had a musical business? Uh, Stian, you decide how much power you give to your customers. Uh, you need to train your customers, train them so that they don't have too much power. For example, with the, our web development company, uh, we have some clients, if you give them too quick service because we love giving our clients excellent service so we respond within the hour within the half an hour and then they will start getting used to that and then they would expect from you to always reply them within a half an hour and get the work done within an hour and that's wrong because then they gain more power and you need to handle other clients as well and that just gets crazy so we have a saying in in, in our company that says teach your client right so we even though we got the work done in an hour we wait another five hours before we send it so then we build that um, time frame for us to be able to wait five hours before we serve that client too because when your business scale and you get a lot of clients for your musical business it's going to get tough if you don't if you don't manage the power that you have and that your client has we haven't lost question on facebook uh stefan peterson when you bought your first property, were you employed? Did you obtain a bank loan? Okay, so Stefan Peter says asking when I bought my first property. Uh, Stefan, I tell my whole story in my book called How to Become a Millionaire 22. I tell everything from how I get the how I got the, the the capital in the first place, my businesses that I had, the process I went through with the banks, everything you need to know about how to uh, how I got my first property at the age of 19. You can read it in my book. It's a long story, and I think we've run out of time on the live session right now. So get my book how to become a millionaire 22 you can read everything in detail on there it's on my website www.millionaire22.com what an awesome live session guys uh, on the live session we have stian class eva uh, viandri erlang armand jules shalandri jc chantal uh, franky leibrand um shalandri saying shop uh, stian saying shop late entrepreneur clarissa renzo brandon and Renzo is saying cannot wait for how to start event tonight in Pretoria so guys remember we have a how to start event tonight in Pretoria if you don't have your tickets go check my social media pages and get it ASAP we're going to talk about how to start your business guys thank you so much for joining in that was the live session today remember you need to balance the amount of knowledge you take in and the amount of action you take Go home, write it on a piece of paper like I explained in the live session earlier and just do it and you'll see the difference it makes for your entrepreneurial journey. Cool guys, that's the live session at 3. See you again next Tuesday at 3 on the live session. Remember to tune in and get your entrepreneurial questions ready. Brandon is saying yes. Late Entrepreneur is saying yes. Chantal is saying shop. Shalandri is saying shop. Stian saying awesome Armand saying shop Frank is waving Chantal is waving class is waving Brandon is saying bye bye okay cool guys see you again next week have a great entrepreneurial week and go get them <laughs>